what we're going to do today is we're going to go through a fair few different techniques. All of these techniques you can use with pretty much any decent subtractive synthesizer. Anything that provides you with two or three different oscillators, some pitch envelopes, some amplifier envelopes, which is pretty much most of the subtractive synthesizers you'll come across. So regardless of whether you're using something like Massive and FM8 that we're going to have a look at today, or even if you're using some of the freely available subtractive synths, you'll find pretty much every synth will give you a different character of sound. So it's worth experimenting with anyway. Because we're going to be doing a bit of a hi-hat sound, we do need a bit of noise again to be able to get that sound to work. So the operator that we're going to be using is our X operator, which allows us to do wave shaping as well as noise. So we're going to make use of the noise component of this one. And again, we'll just get some MIDI data happening for this one as well. So just a fairly simple hi-hat pattern. And we'll just route some of our output. And one of the other things we'll need to do with this one as well is we might even just feed that straight into the filter instead of going for our straight to our output and we'll filter off some of those lower frequencies so just turning that one on so basically if you're not familiar with the way the routing happens in FM8 we're using our X operator which has our noise in it feeding a bit of that 83% of that into our Z operator which is our multi-mode filter and then that's going off to our output so it is fairly simple to get a hang of. If you are interested in finding out more about this one, I would have a look at our FM8 in-depth tutorial where we go through how all of the FM matrix and various other elements of FM8 work. So we're just going to be using filter one. So we've just got our mix set to zero, which just gives us our first filter. And we're going to set our filters up as parallel. That way we can just use our first filter and not worry about the second one. So we're going to go for a high pass mode. So just adjusting our mode control to suit there. And then we also just want to adjust our envelope, our amplifier envelope for our noise. And we're starting to get something close to what we want for the hi-hat sound. So we'll just solo that one on its own. giving us a bit more of a closed hi-hat. And we'll see how that fits with the rest of our beat. So as you can see, it's quite easily possible to create an entire beat and even an entire track just with one synthesizer if you really wanted to. We have used a little bit of variety in here today. 